My name is Susie Retti. Welcome to Africa Alive. In this edition, we are bringing you reports from the Hilton Paddington, London, where the Nigerian Achievers Awards Institute will announce winners of the 2021 Nigerian British Awards. The Nigerian Achievers Awards Institute will today, 23rd of October, showcase eight outstanding achievers for their outstanding performances in their respective professions. These are captains of industries, men and women who have broken glass ceilings, people with exceptional talents, and Nigerians who continue to positively make significant contributions towards the Nigerian British community, both in the UK and Nigeria. Come with me. Good evening and congrats for your Ambassador's Award tonight. Please, could you introduce yourself to us? Yeah, my name is Ronke Adeagbo and I'm the Chief Executive of IA Foundation, the charity set up to reduce the number of out-of-school children in Nigeria. How does it feel winning an award tonight? I'm so excited because this is the first award for the foundation and we've wow. only been in existence in less than three years. So this is really very encouraging and it is, it's going to inspire us to actually do more. Congratulations, and Thank like you. you said, more awards to come. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Good evening, and congrats for your Ambassador's Award tonight. Thank you very much. Please, could you introduce yourself to us? Uh, my name is Femi Okutubo, and I'm the publisher, editor-in-chief of the Trumpet newspaper at the Trumpet Media Group. I'm also the founder of the Gathering of Africa's Best Awards, best known as the GAP Awards. And how does it feel winning an award tonight? Um, it, it, I think it's very, very exciting, especially when one considers that most of the time we tend to be the one giving out awards. And um, to have an award, you know, in recognition of the little that we do, um, I think is, you know, very encouraging. And especially um, because, again, there are so many types of awards events out there, uh, but this is definitely in a class of its own. This is an organization that has stood the test of time and um, there's some level of integrity around the awards. So it's an award that I'm definitely uh, very, very proud to receive and which I really appreciate. Awesome. Congrats once again. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening and congrats for your award tonight. Thank you very much. And please, could you introduce yourself to us? Thank you very much. Uh, the name is Mentoring Commandant Alistair, for short these days, and uh, responsible for an organization called National and Diaspora Mentoring Corps. And how does it feel winning this award tonight? Well, it shows that uh, what one is doing is being recognized, and it brings us home when you are recognized within the people that you have been working with for years and of course not every year you come across this wonderful event uh, but to be recognized after this post COVID 2019 is wonderful thank you so much it's well done and thank you thank you very much good evening and congrats for your ambassador's award tonight thank you please could you introduce yourself to us my name is dr fumi adiwara and i'm the ceo and the founder of mobi health international we are an integra a global integrated telemedicine provider um, with the bias for Africa. And what we essentially do is leverage technology to make affordable healthcare a reality for millions of people in Africa, particularly Nigeria. That is awesome. Thank you. Tell me, how do you feel about winning this award tonight? Well, um, I'm very excited uh, and humbled. Uh, it's just a recognition of the hard work and all the commitment over the years. Um, it definitely inspires me to do more and I'm really looking forward to uh, making greater impact. Wow, once again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Good evening and congrats for your, I'm going to say, award to both of you tonight. Please, could you introduce yourselves? I'm Prince Mike Abiola and of course my wife, Princess Golda Abiola. <laughs> And how does it feel winning this Ambassador's Award tonight? It's a great delight, a honor, and I'm expressing gratitude to Almighty God for the enablement. Uh, it's been a long journey for the African Voice newspaper. We started way back in 2001 with the idea 
that we want to celebrate the contributions Africa, of Africans in the UK. And we started that on the notes where we were being distributed by WS Meat on the mainstream distribution chain. Uh, after the second publication, it's a record for African publications in the UK. We have rolled on since then, and in the last two years, we've rolled out three copies of 100,000 copies available at African grocery stores. Uh, in it, you can find the achievements of Africans in the UK. Thank you so much, and well done to both of you once again. And thank so you. We also want to thank the organizers and the person that actually behind this award, yes. uh, Prince Afolak uh, uh, and yeah. his wife. Wow. And uh, my husband, Mike, you know, this award is really well deserved. He's given the big credit to African Voice, but actually, it's Mike yes. so that is behind the African Voice. Yes. So, I congratulate you. My prince. Thank you, thank <laughs> well you. I, I Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. Please, could you introduce yourself? Thank you for having me on your program. My name is Afolabi Andrew and uh, I so happen to be the one uh, serving this evening as the president of the Nigerian British Business Forum. And how do you feel about tonight? Well, you know, the truth be told, I'm extremely grateful and my gratitude goes to God and that is the honest truth uh, because if you know anything about putting together events uh, particularly within our community uh, it's not a walk in the park so um, the outcome this evening I am truly delighted I am grateful to God and the essence of it is to celebrate our community you know achievers within and may we continue to do this for a very long time. Thank you so much, Mr. Alphanabi. Thank you. My great pleasure. Thank you so much. Good evening, sir. And thank you for joining us tonight. Please, could you introduce yourself to us? Right. I'm Professor Rotimi Jayesame, uh, Vice Chair of the MBBF and Chief Executive Officer of Trojan Medical Group. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And what do you think about tonight? Oh, tonight's been awesome. Uh, you could see the glamour, the glitter, the wonderful speeches, the recognition of people who have contributed a lot to society. And all those people are Nigerians. And I think the message one has got to take up is that we should believe in ourselves as a people, but more importantly, we should come together to work for the good of all. Uh, working alone doesn't help, yeah? You get your little successes, <laughs> but we want that critical mass to make Nigeria a greater country. Thank, thank you, you so much, sir. Thank You're you. welcome. Good evening, sir, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Please, could you introduce yourself to us? Uh, well, I'm Sharafa Tujishola, Nigeria High Commissioner to the United Kingdom. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And, sir, can I ask you, how do you feel about tonight's awards being here celebrating your Nigerians? Uh, well, highly delighted. Um, the program was very successful. And, uh, I can just challenge them that they should not rest on their oars uh, because the task ahead is, is quite daunting. But uh, I know that they are up to the challenges. So I seize this opportunity to congratulate Falabi Andrew and his team on a successful location. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Thank you. Thank you sir.